Hey folks, thanks for tuning in today. We got an everyday carry pocket dump for a very good cause. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Stay with me now. All right, welcome back folks. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I actually had planned to do a, history, a video on the history of the peace dollar, but today we're gonna to do something, uh, this, is, this was kind of time limited, so we're gonna do an EDC pocket dump, right? And to, in full disclosure, I don't actually carry every single one of these items every single day. It kind of depends on what I'm doing, but these are some of the items that I might carry depending on what I'm doing on that particular day, right? Um, the pocket knife I don't carry at work because of the kind of work that I do, we're not allowed to carry that. But if I'm not working, I do carry that one, right? Uh, the flashlight that you see there in the middle, we'll talk about that in a minute, okay? so. This is actually a fundraiser that the U.S. Concealed Carry Association is doing for the disabled American veterans. If you want to participate, all you need to do is take a picture of what you might typically have on any given day in your pocket, your everyday carry, right? And my understanding is you, you can also include a picture of, you know, what you might have in your car or close at hand. What you're going to do, load it up to your Instagram account and do the hashtag pockets for vets, hashtag pockets number four vets and for every hashtag that has that uh, between may 18th and may 29th they will donate one dollar up to twenty five thousand dollars so i thought this was a great cause and this will bump my peace dollar video uh for just a little while we'll i promise you we will get back to that so let's kind of take a lot take a look here and i've not done an everyday carry pocket dump video let's make this one my first one since it's for a good cause so Starting at the bottom, right? Uh, obviously, uh, things are, this is not one, this is one that you probably might not have carried uh, prior to March, uh, but with what we've got going on right now in the United States, uh, I typically, if I'm going anywhere outside of the house, I do have one of these either in my pocket or several in my car. Uh, I can put it on myself or if somebody, if here's somebody around me saying, oh, I forgot my mask, I can go back to my car and get a couple give them to them. These are the disposable ones. Um, I also have some homemade ones my wife made for me. Uh, I have some nicer ones that uh, I've got some N95s that but I pretty much only use the N95s if I'm going to a medical facility uh, like when I went to if you watch I've got a uh, video coming out about my cholesterol uh, and I'm wearing an N95 mask in that video because I knew I was going to be in a building with a lot of other people who may or may not be there because of symptoms similar to you know what, right? So I pretty much, even before what was going on in the country with that, I was carrying the um, hand sanitizer with me. I, I love hand sanitizer. Uh, I probably am one of those people that is overusing it and people are saying you shouldn't do that because uh, it's making the germs more and more strong. So if you want to blame me for that, that's fine, but I'm going to continue to carry my hand sanitizer. Cash and a little uh, money clip. That money clip is actually a gift from my brother-in-law he uh this was he got married out in las vegas on october 5th 2017 and that was a gift uh from him so uh and if you're a little bit of a proper you have to carry cash right you always have to have some cash uh cash is king you know uh, i will yeah i've got nothing against using you know my um, bank card for transactions but sometimes you just want to use cash right and probably the best example for that for me would be there is always i work in a building with about 40 or 50 other people there is always always somebody raising money for something and i gotta pull five dollars out right so um i always carry a little bit of cash or you know i go out to eat i, I go out to uh, lunch with my co-workers on fridays I typically like to pay the wait staff in cash uh, for tips because then they don't have to wait for the transaction to process. They get their cash, right, they get their tip right away. So there's, there's other reasons why you might want to carry cash too. Uh, a little bit of chapstick. I always keep a little bit of chapstick on hand. I don't always carry this with me. Uh, I'm not a smoker. It's just I threw that in there because I know a lot of people you do carry the lighter. Uh, back in my college days, it was considered a gentlemanly thing to do to carry a lighter in case somebody needed a light, right? Obviously, from a prepper standpoint, there's other reasons why you might carry a lighter. But I threw that in there just as a, you might carry that in your pocket on any given day. I typically don't have that. And since I know a lot of my subscribers are uh, silver bugs, I did throw in a lucky uh, American Eagle there for you. 
right? And that is a 2020 American Eagle, which we know the situation with the pricing uh, in the, the 2020 American Eagles right now, don't we? All right, moving around to the other side. So these are my house and car keys. Um, I've got a couple little additions on here. That there is a Gerber shard. Uh, that is always on my keychain, and that gets through TSA when I'm flying. No problems. Got a little pry bar on there. Got a little bit on the back side there. It's got a little Phillips head square dri screwdriver. Uh, bottle opener. You could use it to open a can as well. Uh, all around little keychain multi-tool. This here is one of those Olight rechargeable keychain lights. Um, I'm going to do a video talking about that in the future. It's a nice little keychain light to have. This here, I'll show you. We'll come back to that in just a minute, okay? I'm still using the iPhone 5S. I don't. I know, I know, I need to upgrade. Uh, I like the size of it. I mean, look how small that is compared to the other items for scale. Most of the new phones are, are much bigger. Uh, I need to probably shop around and see what I can find, but I've always liked a smaller phone. So that's why I've held on to that one for so long. This is the CRKT uh, M1601S. I'll show you this here. We've got a video out there, which I will link in the description, right? But um, this is the, you know, very nice gentleman's carry kind of knife, very sleek, right? And I've got some other pocket knives, obviously, and I've got more videos coming on that kind of stuff. But um, that's the M1601S, right? And that's typically, when I'm not working, that's, that's the one that I've got in my pocket. And this is a 511, which, you know, I've done some other stuff, uh, other 511 videos. I'm a big fan of their products. This is a little pen light. It's actually uh, 90 lumens, so it's actually pretty bright. Let me see. Give you a little example here, right? Um, it, it, this gives you pretty good light. And I, um, this is, this one stays beside, um, this one stays beside my bed, bed post at all times. Uh, I also carry this when I'm traveling. So this one stays on me, uh, through the airport. This is, uh, I believe it's aircraft aluminum. Uh, so it's pretty sturdy. It's, um, you know, it, it's, Pretty hard, hardcore little flashlight, and uh, this one, you know, you can carry through TSA no problems. Uh, so this is this is pretty much goes with me a lot of places. Uh, it's definitely my travel flashlight. I've got I've got some other flashlights. I've got videos I'm gonna be talking about, but it, this is the one that I that I carry with me when I'm traveling. And let's see, almost last but not least, uh, these are prescription sunglasses, which. Uh, they're not always with me, of course, but I do have them with me in the car frequently and, and you see me wearing those in a lot of my gardening videos. They're ANSI rated so they can take, you know, if I'm working with uh, the weed whacker and I accidentally, you know, kick up a little pebble towards my eye, it actually will take that impact with no problem. Um, it's also got very good eye protection from the sun, from the UV rays. Um, I paid a lot of money for those from Pearl Vision, but I am very, very happy with them. And let's see if I can tell you who. Well, I was trying to give you, trying to show you what the frame is, if you can see if we can get that in focus there. Is that real Ray? Uh, and I apologize, I am not up to date on what the good brands are in this, but I liked this style, the kind of the round glasses. Uh, Pearl Visions did a fantastic job with those for me. Uh, I have astigmatism, nearsighted astigmatism, so doing that kind of lens is, is actually really, really hard for them. And uh, the guy who did it, uh, he, he said, let me, let me work at it, and he worked a miracle on it, so pretty awesome. All right, last thing I was going to show you. This is kind of a cool little uh, thing. This is, so this, these little pill containers you can find. This is on my keychain here. These little pill containers you can find on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description below. Uh, this is uh, I always throw in here emergency $20, right? 
so that's always that's always in there um and you know dads if you if you grew up right a lot of times your dad told you always have a 20 dollar hidden away somewhere so that's where that that's where that is don't be taking my keys now all right and i'm actually thinking about adding another one another one of those little pill containers where uh, to just throw in some aspirin uh, or ibuprofen because people are always asking me, you know, hey, Tom, you want any ibuprofen uh, at work? So I, you know, I usually have it in my desk anyways, but I might as well kind of add it on my keychain. Uh, so that's it. I'd like to know in your comments below what are your, what's in your EDC. And if you've got an Instagram account, please head over there and uh, participate so we can raise a little bit of money for the disabled American veterans. Again, this runs from May 18th to May 29th. If you're going to post up a picture, use the hashtag pockets for vets and they will, for every hashtag that uses pockets for vets, the U.S. Concealed Carrier Association will donate uh, $1 up to $25,000. Thank you so much. And I promise you, we will get back to that uh, peace dollar video. Uh, that's gonna, that's just, we're just bumping it so we could do this today because this one's got, uh, got a time limit on it. And we will see you next time on A Little Bit of Everything with Sarge.